started square and now it's If the if the file skids, that means it's hard. But I can throw this on the floor and it can crack. Now, okay. mm -hmm. to get rid of that, what you do, you put it in the tempering oven at 400 degrees for two hours. And what that does, it allows all the atoms and all the um, um, metals to combine together and it becomes three times harder. This here is a U.S. Army Officer Saber that I actually completed and competed on Forged in Fire Season 6, Episode 10, the Army episode. Um, it is made out of 5160 spring steel. The guard is mild steel, and the handle is Purple Heart. It represents the honor of a soldier that has been injured in, in uh, combat. It is very well balanced. It is less than two pounds. Um, it's got a thumb guard. It's... Uh, very easy to wheel and like one of my good friends says it will cut <laughs> this one here is a sushi knife it is 200 and no 332 layers of Damascus steel It's 15 and 20 and 1095 it is a raindrop pattern um, the handle is actually tamarind wood and the black part is buffalo horn On this one here is a 250 layer random Damascus. It's a little bit different of a Damascus. It's actually a chef knife. The handle is black African wood with a custom handle. And um, this is all done by me. And again, it's a very well balanced knife. It's a chef knife. And again, it's uh, Damascus. This one here is a ladder Damascus. What it is, when you look at it, it looks like a ladder. Um, it is a double-edged, um, it's a double-edged um, dagger. It has African blackwood for a handle. This is one of my favorites. It's an EDC, everyday carry. It's a very small. Um, it's good for skinning, camping, whichever you prefer. The handle is actually cherry with some copper on it, and it's got carbon fiber uh, pegs. And of course, my favorite, I probably will never get rid of this one. It was one of my first uh, canister Damascus. It's actually ball bearings. Um, the handle is a uh, maple burl that has been, um, has been uh, stabilized. It's been stabilized. Um, the guard and the pommel, they're actually aluminum and the skull crusher, as we call it, that is actually uh, copper, brass, uh, brass actually. And again, it's uh, all these are on my website and if you have any questions concerns or you ever want to stop by hit me up Instagram Taino custom knives or Facebook or even uh, YouTube I have some educational videos and thank you for stopping by